Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic week. Well, I'm all excited about a brand new cruise ship that's launching in 2019. And what ship is it? Is it the big new mega ship from uh, Royal Caribbean? Uh, is it the brand new princess cruise ship, the Sky? Yeah, is it the new Costa mega ship that holds 6,700 people? No. No, it's not. In fact, it's completely the opposite. And I'm going to tell you what it is right after this. So the ship I'm kind of excited about checking out and hopefully I get to sail on it. I'm even looking at the inaugural sailing uh, next July, I believe 19th, starting from Dover. Uh, it's going to be a home port in Southampton and it is going to be on a Sega Line cruise ship called the Spirit of Discovery. And it's, yes, I know, it's a small cruise line. Why am I kind of excited about Saga Cruise Line ship? Well, as you all know, I'm kind of a solo cruiser. I tend to go on ships by myself quite a bit. Uh, and this cruise ship, now get this, it's only gonna hold 999 passengers. It's only gonna have 540 staterooms roughly. But of those 540 staterooms, 100 of them are for solo cabins and will have solo prices. You won't have to pay for two people. What? <laughs> what, a, what a novel idea, right? Over 20% of the cabins on this ship are going to be for solo cruisers. In fact, in their dining halls and their restaurants, they're going to have seating for solo guests. For those people who just want to go out by themselves and keep to themselves, who are a little shy, don't really feel like sitting with 10 people and don't know, you know, just want to just want to have dinner in a restaurant and not have to order room service and, or go to the buffet. They're going to have dining for solo cruisers as well, single seats, and they're not going to be stuck in a corner someplace. They're going to be prominent in the restaurant with ocean views and, well, yeah, that sounds like a solo cruiser's dream to me. So what else is, is so exciting about this ship? Well, it's going to offer five dining experiences. All of them are included in the price. These cruise lines also are kind of an all-inclusive ship. What does it include? It includes your transfers to and from the port when you arrive uh, by air uh, from the closest town that you arrive in. It includes free Wi-Fi while you're on the ship. It includes beverage packages, unlimited beverage packages, which include spirits, wines, beers, coffees, sodas. Everything is included and you can get them throughout the ship as well. Of course, your meals on board, your entertainment on board is all included, and they also include the gratuities as well. So when you book your cruise on this ship, it's basically, that's it. You're covered. Nothing else to pay unless, you know, you gamble or you buy art or, or something along the way, or your shore excursions. Other than that, your pickup, your transfers, your gratuities, your food, your drinks, your beverages, your entertainment, your food, everything's included, even Wi-Fi. So that is fantastic. The ship is going to include two pools, one indoor, one outdoor, five dining restaurants, a variety of bar and, and uh, casual dining coffee areas, a large atrium, a 430 seat theater which will show uh, Broadway productions from the, the crew itself like the, the cast on board uh, Saga shows it's going to have movie screenings in there it's going to have lectures and port uh, documentaries all playing in this theater uh, which basically holds about half of everybody on the ship so uh, two shows will guarantee that everybody gets to see the show if you want to if you want to see those performances 
The ship, of course, will have a spa, including a thermo suite with saunas, one of them infrared. It's going to have massage areas. It's basically just a mini version of a cruise ship. But what really has me excited about this ship, first off, it's about 775 feet long, so it's not a huge ship by no means, um, but it has basically everything. It has your dining, it has your entertainment, and the best thing of all is those solo cabins. And right away, the first thing in your mind is gonna say, yeah, well, they're gonna be pretty tiny cabins on this ship. Well, actually, the opposite again is completely true. Every cabin on this ship, first off, is a balcony cabin. There's no insides, there's no ocean views, Every single cabin has a balcony, even the solo cabins. Wow, okay, you hooked me at balcony cabin. Next thing is the average cabin size starting is 240 square feet. And that's pretty darn large considering the inside cabin I have on my next cruise is only 140 square feet. So it's almost double that size and they go up from there. The solo cabins aren't designated as strictly solo, small, this is the only design. There's four categories and go all the way up to around 750 square feet for a suite as a solo guest that you only have to pay as one passenger for. <laughs> well, uh, it sounds too good to be true, but this is what they're going for. They're, they're saying that it's going to be a very personable, very intimate with almost two, pa two crew members for every three passengers, which is a huge amount of service. They're trying to include everything they can, as you see with gratuities and drinks and dining and Wi-Fi and transfers. You don't have to worry about everything. They want a worry-free, intimate, personalized cruise. And that sounds really good to me. So check it out. The Spirit of Discovery by Saga and it's launching next July 2019. I imagine you can probably buy tickets now if you are looking for that cruise. So check them out online. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're kind of excited about the solo cabins on that cruiser like I am, wow. <laughs> if you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.